So how do you go on to learn a hard math concept? There is one way that often works. You start trying a problem related to that concept and let your brain and your subconscious do the rest of the job. Let me show you a problem that you can use to understand, like really understand mathematical induction. This problem starts with something called corners. So what is a corner? A corner is a tromino. So how does it look like? Well, it looks like this. So it has like three boxes like this. So maybe I can draw it a, bit, a little bit better. So it has one box, two box, and three box. Sometimes this is known as a corner. Sometimes this is known as an L tromino. L tromino. Now the question says that if you have a 16 cross 16 grid, 16 cross 16 grid, so it's like this. So I'll draw a 4 cross 4 grid. You can draw the 16 cross 16 grid. So this is an example of a 4 cross 4 grid. 4 cross 4. So similarly there could be a 16 cross 16 grid. The question says that if you throw away one box just delete any one box, not only this one, it could be some other one. So if you just delete one box from this grid, you can cover the entire remaining grid using these pieces, these corner pieces, these pieces. So how can we show this using induction? Even if you do not understand what is induction, using this problem, you will get to understand it. What we will do is, we will first do the case one. Later, we will call it the base case. So we will draw a 2 cross 2 grid. We will draw a 2 cross 2 grid. So let's do that. Let's draw a 2 cross 2 grid. Now it's very simple to understand that if you throw away any box, the remaining three boxes can be covered by a corner or an L tromino. You will just need to sort of turn the L tromino in the right way and you can place it over it like this and the remaining part will be covered. Right? Then we will do the next case. Sometimes this is known as the inductive hypothesis. So, this is case 2. This is for the 4 cross 4 grid. Okay. So, let's draw it. Let's draw the 4 cross 4 grid one more time. Like this. And we have something like this. And what we will do is, we will divide it into two cross two grids. So that's very easy. Just 
put a line in the middle, vertical line, and put a horizontal line in the middle. Okay. Okay, so now what we are going to do is this. Let's first take out that one box that we should be taking out. It could be from here, it could be from here, it could be from here, anywhere. Anywhere in the four cross four grid, we can take out one box. Now, if you look at that two cross two grid, from which you have taken out that one box. Because of course, the one box that you are taking out, it will be either here or here or here or here in one of those two cross two grids. So focus on that. That one will be, you can you can actually cover that one using the El Tromino or the corner. Why? Because we have just proved it in case one, that is the base case. Now, what are we going to do with the remaining three entries? So, this is, this is the fun part. We will cross off the corners of these three entries. We are, we are cutting that off. Now, again by case one, we can cover this using the corner blocks, corner piece, the El Tromino. Okay, the El Tromino. And these three pieces, they themselves form an El Tromino. So you can cover this one up. So again, using case 1, we solved case 2. That's important. That's the inductive step. So the inductive step. So you don't know what is induction. Assume that for the moment, even if you do. Induction step. So now you will understand when I go to the next case. Case 3, which is? 8 cross 8. 8 cross 8. So we will draw the 8 cross 8 grid. So 1, 2, let's see if I can draw it correctly. 3, 4, 5, 6, and seven. So the last few were kind of thinned out. Sorry for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So what are we going to do now? we are going to use the case 2 to solve case 3. Let's see how we can do it. So again, we will sort of draw the midline, the vertical midline and the horizontal midline. Each of these pieces are 4 cross 4 grids. 4 cross 4. Each of these pieces. This one is a 4 cross 4. This one is a 4 cross 4. This one is a 4 cross 4. And this one is a 4 cross 4. Right? So now, first we will throw away that one piece that we have to throw away. So what is the what was the problem? So if from an 8 cross 8 grid, if I throw away one, one of the boxes, I can cover the remaining one with strominos. Right? So let's throw away one box. It will be from one of these four cross four grids. So suppose this is the one that you have thrown away, this box. Now we know 
we know from case 2 that this particular box this particular 4 cross 4 grid can be covered by L trominos or corner pieces this is from case 2 so this can be covered with this can be covered with with corner pieces we know that this is coming from case 2 and what about this one the remaining three blocks well do we do exactly the same thing we temporarily delete these three corner blocks we temporarily delete these three corner blocks now again this is a four cross four block with one corner block missing again by case two we can cover this with l-shaped dominoes or trominoes similarly this is a four cross four grid with one block missing so now it can again be covered using corners this is an l cross l shaped with one box missing so the remaining can be covered with the corners now what you have left is these three blocks and they themselves can be covered with one corner so what do we do did we just do we used case 2 to solve case 3 right we did that right this is the important part case 2 helps us to solve case 3 now if I want to do case 4 case 4 what should I do first I should draw the midlines the midlines so it will be broken down into 8 cross 8 squares there are only really four of them each so you have to first throw away throw away one box because that's what you want to show if you throw away one box from that 16 cross 16 grid the remaining portion can be covered by corners so throw away one box now that one box will be from one of the 8 cross 8's so that 8 cross 8 will be one box missing 8 cross 8 so you can now use case 3 to say that okay that can be covered with corners so now there will be remaining 3 8 cross 3 8 cross 8's temporarily temporarily delete corners or middle boxes middle boxes so these are the middle boxes right these are the middle boxes temporarily they you delete the middle boxes so now each of them will be a 8 cross 8 with one box temporarily missing right with one box temporarily missing so the remaining part can be covered by trominos and now you've put the final tromino in the middle to actually finish the job so what did what are we doing we first showed case one this is the two cross two case using case one we did case two using case two we did case three using case 3 we did case 4 and so on we can do it forever so can you tell me this fact that if you remove one box from a grid then you can cover it with corners this fact is true for what kind of grids in general so you, in general this is true for what kind of grids and how is it related to induction well this is what we did we did just induction the previous case if the previous case is true we showed that the next case can be solved 
if the 8 cross 8 case is true, using that we can solve the 16 cross 16 case. So, this is like a wave of proofs. At least that's what Foman calls it. It's a wave of proofs. You prove the first one and show that proving the first one helps you prove the second one. Proving the second one helps you prove the third one and so on. So, it's true for all the grids of certain type. And the challenge question is, what type of grids are we looking at in general? I hope this video was useful. You can subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, if you want mathematical Olympiad programs and want to engage with our community, go to the, go to the link in the description and help us grow. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.